What's going on guys? We've got a pretty cool product to review here today. The company Teslong sent this product to me. This is their digital bore scope. This is the NTG 450H. And just a full disclosure up front, they did send this to me for a product review. In return, I get the product for free. Uh, like I've mentioned in the past, I don't review stuff on my channel that I would not fully use myself or that I do not believe in. So here we are with the product review. I'm going to link this down below. You guys can take a look at it there and we'll want to make sure and disclose. Use the code HH10 to get 10% off of anything on their website. But take a look down below at the link after this video is over. See what you think and we're going to run through. I'm going to show you guys everything that comes in the box. And then we're going to stick it in a few different rifles and uh, give you a good look down the uh, barrel of my guns. So like I mentioned, this is the Teslong Digital Bore Scope open up here and just to let you guys know i've taken some of this stuff out of the packaging it was all packaged up really nicely whenever i first got it but of course i got my hands on it right away and started looking through my barrels and uh, kind of messing around with the product and it's really really neat going to be a really handy product uh, from here going forward but we'll go through and i'm just going to start showing you guys what comes in the box here right off the bat this of course is the actual bore scope itself and it comes with a little protective cap on it throw that in here and I've already got one of the mirrors on here but we're gonna take this off and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like without a mirror on it at first got a little protective sheath on it here Throw that to the side so this section here is all the actual bore scope itself we're gonna get everything out of the box so we can move this out of the way this right here is your adapter piece to put into your monitor, and I will show you that. And then we've got your instruction booklet right here. It gives you good instruction on how to use this and how to set everything up. If I can get it open here. So we'll put that in there. Don't need that anymore. Comes with a nice, really compact, really well-built uh, little monitor LCD display. We'll get this powered up here in a second. Comes with a little kickstand, a little table stand for the back side of the monitor so you can use it hands free. We'll put that on. A couple extra mirrors here for your bore scope. And I'm going to grab the mirror that I was using. And then here is a cord to charge it or to hook it up to something else. Don't need that right now. So here's the box, real nice box to keep it in. Keep it real secure, damage free. We're gonna put this to the side. All right, now we're gonna start hooking some stuff up here. We're gonna take the cord on the end of the bore scope. It is permanently attached right here at the back. As you can see. This part is separate, but what this allows you to do Plug this into this here, and then this here is the portion that plugs into the top of the monitor. And just want to show you while I have this turned around, you got to make sure and press this button right here to remove this cable. That keeps it in there nice and secure. And then while I've got it turned around here, I'm going to go ahead and put on our little kickstand so we can go hands free on this sticks out like that Get these extra mirrors out of the way so we've got power button down here we'll hold that down you can see it powers on real nice hopefully you guys can see that and there's not too much glare it's going to show up a lot better once I actually get it in the barrel itself you can hit the M button here for different modes between photo and video and then right here is a little camera icon. You can hit that, snap a picture. Down here at the bottom, it actually comes, if I can get this open, actually comes with a memory card, an SD card. And then down here is where you charge it as well. So that's kind of nice. You can 
you know, keep files, um, store any videos that you take or pictures on this. Say you've got a barrel that you think has a weakness spot in it where it's building up a lot of carbon, a lot of fouling. You can take pictures after each range session, see how that spot's doing, and kind of monitor your barrel life that way, your barrel conditions. Like I say, hopefully you guys can see this okay on the video, but you got settings here where you can change the resolution. I always keep that as high as possible. You got a date stamp, and then you got shutter sound for your pictures that you're taking. And you've got all kinds of different stuff, language, date time, format your SD card, back to default settings, and what version you're using on the software. Pretty nice little device here. It tells you how much battery life is left on your LCD display, uh, the date, the time down here. Now we're going to put this down and we're actually going to run this through its courses, show you guys what the inside of this barrel looks like. I'm sure you guys are here because you want to have the best accuracy possible out of your rifles, as we all do. This rifle, this rifle is fully clear. The bolt is removed out of it and no rounds whatsoever in the barrel. So we're going to take this here. Like I mentioned earlier, there is no mirror on the front. We're just going to show you what this looks like without a mirror on it. And this thing should be super dirty. This is my 22. Shoot it all the time and I don't treat it too great. So hopefully you guys can see I turn this for you. I think you guys can see that okay. Like I say, this is without a mirror in it, but you can see 22s are dirty in any way. You can see all the way down through here. And we're going to go ahead and run it down through the suppressor too. Just see what that looks like. Now we're getting into the suppressor. There's one of the baffles. There's a baffle. Pretty cool. Now we're out the other end. I'm going to pull this out. We're going to put a mirror on it. And I'm going to zoom in on the monitor so you guys can take a look there. So I've got this hooked up and I've got it zoomed in on the monitor so you guys can see a little bit better. Hopefully that comes through clear on your end. And I can tell you the picture quality, the video quality on the monitor they provide is, is just really good. It's definitely high definition. Um, Want to also say on this cord of, on the end of the bore scope, uh, it's got a little toggle switch to where you can control the brightness of your light. So right there it's all the way off. And then I can control how bright I want that light to be. You can see it changing there with each rotation. Pretty nice feature. But we're going to run down through the barrel here and just take a look. There you go. You can see some spots right there. Kind of some good build up that I'll have to work on. Push this around. There's some more gunk right there. Good old carbon buildup. There's some more right there that kind of stands out to me. Let's go down here and check out this suppressor. into the suppressor. You can see there the baffle's pretty dirty. This thing is really handy. Uh, you can run it down through ARs, check your gas port. That's a good spot for carbon buildup. This is just real nice to detect 
any weak points in your barrel that you want to keep an eye on to improve accuracy over the life of your barrel. With the option to record videos and take pictures, it's just real easy to keep data on certain rifles and check your weak spots in your barrels. We're going to take this out and put an AR upper on here. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to change to an AR upper. This is just a little 10 and a half inch upper. Uh, should be pretty dirty, and I'm going to show you another cool feature on this bore scope. I'm going to put it in the opposite way. I'm just using this to hold it. You don't have to use this. You can just lay it on your workbench, whatever you want to use. That just works out okay for me. All right, so we're going to take a look at this AR barrel. And what I want to show you on this, stick this in here. We're going to go in through the muzzle in this time. Like I mentioned earlier, right here is your light switch. It's like a little dimmer switch, just a rotation knob. That's all you have to do to change the brightness. So we're going to put this in here. Find this gas block. See, right there is your gas port for your gas block. And that actually doesn't look too bad. Try to mess with the brightness here. Yeah, I usually like using it all the way up. It's got a little bit of carbon there on the back side of it from the direction the bullet's coming from. It has just a little bit of carbon buildup on the back side there from the direction the bullet's coming from, but it's not bad at all. But what I was wanting to show you on this bore scope, say this right here was a bad spot on any certain barrel and you always want to keep an eye on it. It's got this little plunger down here at the very end. So I can just move this plunger down, this stopper, put it at the very end of my muzzle device, take it out, and then I always know either by my stopper or there's markings on here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on video, but there's markings on here in inches to show you exactly where your problem areas are or your problems you want to continue to look at. So in your rifle load book, rifle data book, you could also write that down, you know, at 10 inches in on my 243 Winchester bolt action. I've got some spots in there that keep getting real dirty, building up with carbon, and I want to keep an eye on that. So you can always go back to your load data book, your rifle data book, and keep an eye on things that way. That little stopper is pretty handy too in case you're working over and over in the same spot, you can just keep that plunger there and keep going back in after you swab, after you run your patches through and keep looking where that stopping point is. But that's pretty nice. It just slides up and down and it will always stay right there on the end of your bore scope. Anyway, pretty handy little product. I'm going to be putting that to use quite a bit. Boxes up really well in the, the box that it came in. That way you can store it and it doesn't get damaged. Um, make sure and take a look at the link down below, direct link to this product. Uh, if you're interested, be sure to use the coupon code HH10, and that will save you 10% on anything that they offer on their website. I appreciate you guys being here for this product review. Make sure and subscribe, like this video, stay tuned for more. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.